Welcome back to the Vandy Sports Podcast. I'm Joey Dwyer here after Vanderbilt's 6-4 to loss to Tennessee and Hoover. That marks the end of Vanderbilt's time in Hoover for the week. And I felt like a week that productive wasn't going to end that way for Vanderbilt. Uh, and has a really, maybe not bitter, but a really unceremonious feel to it. As Vanderbilt loses the season series to Tennessee 3-2. to We'll make this one quicker because I think this game's implications beyond the rivalry are pretty minimal if Tennessee is going to be the number one overall seed. Vanderbilt, I think, was going to be a two or a three regardless of what happened today. But overall in Hoover, I think Vanderbilt leaves it in a lot better place than it came into it. Vanderbilt's going to leave uh, as maybe even a two seed when it came into the week, and we weren't sure if they were even going to be in the tournament if they lost on Tuesday. They got three big wins that really helped the momentum, really helped their confidence, just felt like the team had a much better feel around it this week than it had had. And Hoover's an easier park for them to play in. I obviously plays better for them than it plays for Tennessee. So uh, it was interesting that they weren't able to beat Tennessee today, but I think Tennessee's a better team than they are. I think we've seen that pretty much all season. Obviously, the season series goes to Tennessee with the win today, and I think that's kind of what we expected heading into it. I think a lot of people thought Vandy would get swept um, at Hawkins Field by Tennessee. So it was big for them avoiding that and finding a way to beat them this week in a game and beat them pretty handily. But I think the standard for this program has to be to beat Tennessee and Tennessee's really really good but the rivalry I think is alive and well and I think that's really refreshing to see in this era of college sports just the way that these two teams compete and in some ways don't seem to like each other I think Vanderbilt even a couple nights ago kind of reminded Tennessee that they're a good program too and it was interesting to see all the discourse uh, this week about that game and about this game I think it's really refreshing and I know some people don't but just to see that true of a rivalry still involved in college sports with the current state of it so um, really interesting season between Vandy and Tennessee I'm assuming they won't meet again but uh, today Vanderbilt loses the season series to Tennessee which obviously something that they don't want to happen I think it's important for both programs to have this rivalry and I think you'll hear that uh, sentiment echoed by both coaches post game but it was interesting uh, today I think Vandy maybe even took a step in some ways obviously lose the game offense wasn't super productive but you get Ethan McElvain back, a guy who looked like he can really help you in regionals, um, face their three best guys to start the game, and obviously didn't get those guys, but limited the runs, got out of a jam, which I think is going to be a helpful skill for him as they get into postseason play more and more. Jaden Davis, again, another guy who comes back. Vanderbilt getting those two guys back, I think is maybe not the story of the day, but one of the stories of the day and something that's really going to help them. Come next week, Davis was one of their better hitters and maybe their best hitter when he went down. Uh, McIlvain, a guy who's really talented, probably their best freshman arm, and saw them have to throw a lot of those guys today, and that was a testament to where their bullpen was uh, after the week, but also a testament to what they have there, which I think is some real ability, but I think them losing the game today on the back of freshman pitchers kind of tells you maybe you're a little concerned if those are the guys they have to rely on, but I don't know that they are. You saw Ryan Ginther give him some good innings. David Horn gave him, some, gave him a really nice inning today. I think his stuff is uh, undeniable. He can really help them moving forward. Maybe not this season, but uh, in a future season. Vanderbilt's got a chance, though, and I think that's what I take out of this week as a whole. And I think today, obviously, the loss of Tennessee matters. Mattered on two, or Wednesday when Vandy beat them, matters today when Tennessee beat them. But I also think, just looking big picture, Vandy leaves Hoover in a much, much better place than it had been. I think it's got a chance to do some damage now. It's got some confidence. It has about as healthy of a roster as, as it's going to get as long as Carter Holton's good to go. And Tim Corbin did say he was available this weekend, although he didn't pitch. So we'll see, but I think Vanderbilt's got a chance here. It feels like their lineup's going to build off of each other. And it feels like if they can get into a regional that is kind of favorable to them in a pitcher's park or anything near it against some teams that don't have crazy power um, in their lineups, I think they got a chance to really beat some teams if their bats are on and if they can get the pitching performances they got this week from Cunningham, Thompson, Futrell, guys like that, uh, even a guy like McIlvain, if he can step into a bigger role, they've got a chance to really make some make some noise in the postseason and do some damage. Vanderbilt, again, kind of a flawed team. There's some things wrong with this team. They can make do with what they have, though, and I think they've got to change some things in the offseason. That doesn't mean they can't do some things now, and that's kind of my current feeling on the team is – they're not perfect, they're far from it, but they have enough to where they can make some noise and make this a favorable season where a week ago today when they lost to Kentucky, I think they got run ruled a week ago today if that wasn't the Friday game, it looked like they 
maybe wouldn't even make the NCAA tournament and extend the regional streak. With this week and what they did last last Saturday, I guess, yeah, it was Saturday. Friday was the day they got run ruled. Now they got a chance to maybe even be a two seed. So you see how fast things change. This is a game that changes a lot. And I think today proved that. I think the way this ended after how it felt all week proves that. But you got to tip your hat to Tennessee. I think those that's a team that um, I think is really, really good, probably Omaha bound. And uh, Vandy really fought them this year. And the rivalry that they had was fantastic. The way they were able to compete with each other was fantastic. But Vandy, I think, standard is beat Tennessee. And uh, they got pretty dang close to it this year. Uh, the Saturday in Hawkins Field, I felt like they could have had that game. I felt like they could have had today's game if they scored in the eighth, which uh, I think was a turning point in that game to where they squandered some runs. But Tennessee comes out of it, wins the game, and shows you what they have, shows you how capable they are. And I think Vanderbilt, again, showed you how capable they are this week. They're not perfect. We saw that today. We saw that at some points throughout the week. We've seen that all season. But they leave Hoover probably a two seed, right, with a chance to maybe outplay that seeding as well so I think if you're a Vanderbilt fan you got to be happy with how this week went although you can't be happy with necessarily how it ended although the stakes weren't as high for this game as um, and they weren't as high on Wednesday either uh, as maybe they will be next week but what Vanderbilt did this week with Tim Corbin breaking the record for SEC tournament wins with them beating Florida to get themselves off the bubble with them beating Tennessee earlier in the week with them beating Mississippi State I think you got to be at least um, cognizant of what they did this week even if it ended in a way that was unceremonious at best against Tennessee in a stadium that almost felt like it was beyond its prime for the day after that LSU South Carolina game so interesting good week for Vanderbilt productive week um, that ends in a way that I don't think any Vanderbilt fan would have liked for it to end it, but Vanderbilt's got a chance to uh, move beyond that next week and kind of turn the page as it goes to regional we'll have your coverage uh, for their selection and the draw that they have and then uh, we'll get into regional play next weekend so thank you guys for watching god bless uh, it was a great week in hoover for me specifically and it was a good week for vanderbilt as well so uh, interesting to cover but we'll keep you updated moving forward thank you guys for watching god bless and uh, we'll talk soon peace